Summertime is finally here, but with extensions, we want you to take care of them. You've invested this money, let's invest in maintaining them and making them last the longest they could. So those of us who wear extensions, we know summertime extensions don't always go hand in hand. So we just wanna give you some tips and tricks on how to make your extensions last and keep that quality all throughout summer. So now we're gonna talk about sunscreen. One of the first things you wanna do is make sure to always protect your skin, but in that you need to think about your extensions as well. So you'd wanna stay away from the chemical-based sunscreens, and we really recommend a mineral-based one. What sunscreens can do is, especially if you have blonde hair and you spray it on and you don't protect your hair, it can turn them orange or different colors. So you want to keep that sunscreen off of the extensions completely. Now, one of the things to think about with extensions is they are very porous. They're like an open canvas and anything you put in there is what they're going to take. So you don't wanna just go straight into the chlorine with dry hair, because it's going to suck that up and that is not good for the extensions. You want to be able to take first a leave-in conditioner and you want to wet your hair with natural water. This is filling it up with all of that good stuff. Then what you're gonna do is either part your hair into two pieces or one and go ahead and braid that hair back. That's gonna help lock in that moisture whenever you go into the water and that's also gonna prevent tangling as well. Now Dorothy, tell them what they're gonna do whenever they finish getting out of the pool. Absolutely and you know with that being said it goes for chlorine and salt water. Both of these will react the exact same way. So making sure to protect that hair while you're getting into the water. So with getting out of the water, once you get out of the water, whether it's the chlorine or that salt water, you wanna wring out all of that moisture that got absorbed into your natural hair and your extensions. If you can, just rinse your hair with regular tap water so that you can take out all of the salt water or chlorine that did get absorbed into your natural hair or your extensions so that you can get it fresh and clean and that's not just sitting and absorbing into your extensions. Another tip we would recommend is after you've already wrung it out and rinsed it with that tap water, get a little bit of a leave-in conditioner, spray it into your hair and then toss it into your purse or your bag. That way you always have it with you. And you can either tie your hair up, put it into a braid so that you don't have to worry about that hair, but it has that leave-in conditioner in there so that it's getting that moisture that was taken out by any of your swimming activities. So if you have any other questions about summer care, please feel free to call us at 1-855-DREAMTEAM or visit us at dreamcatchers.com and check out our latest summer blog.